Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's 3 Theory. Now, before I get right to this, this theory is actually given by an idea from Docos Games. So check them out if you're interested in this theory. Anyways, what today's theory I want to talk about is the yellow animatronic that we see in the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 trailer. The only animatronic in the game. Now, I was reading the Steam Greenlight page and I found out that the thing said it only has one animatronic for now. It says now has one animatronic. Now, here's my theory I did, uh, I talked about over Twitter, if you guys follow me on Twitter, at ZombieWars7T, I talked about this. I thought the possibility of maybe through the nights, the new animatronic will actually build up the toy animatronics back to life. Keep in mind guys, Scott Cawthon is trying to make every 5 Nights Phrase 3 game, or should I say every 5 Nights Phrase game, and 5 Nights Phrase 3 is no different, different compared to the other games. I know that was a bit of a tongue twister, but it's pretty much how you had to put it. I feel like that Scott Carlton is trying to put different tactics into his game, such as for Five Nights at Freddy's 1, it was more or less just a fear factor and a fact about power that really made it hard. In Five Nights at Freddy's 2, it was a fact that you're pressured and under lots of, um, I should say, stress, I should put it. And in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, I feel like he's going to use the element of surprise. Another example of this is if you look at the box that is in your office, Mangle still has her endoskeleton. Now, what this means is that the endoskeleton with Mangle could actually come back to life as well as its own. Now, keep in mind guys, an endoskeleton is not an animatronic. An empty shell is not an animatronic. When an empty shell and an endoskeleton come together, that is what is known as an animatronic. Not to mention, even without robots and metals, it still says one animatronic. Now, he could add in other stuff to the game that are, in fact, not animatronics. For instance, the marionette. The marionette is not an animatronic. It is simply a puppet that is haunted. There's no doubt about it. It is haunted. The next thing is the paper pal. As we all know, the paper pal of himself is actually haunted and has his own AI. And keep in mind guys, that very same paper plate is in the box in your office. Hell, another example of a non-animatronic in the Five Nights at Freddy's series are the shadow figurines that we see in the Five Nights at Freddy's games, such as Shadow Freddy and Shadow Toy Bonnie. But I honestly feel like this is all we can say about this theory until Scott Colton actually releases Five Nights at Freddy's 3, or at least another teaser image. So tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that Scott Cawthon has pulled another element of surprise on us with this? Or do you guys think that he simply just means that the yellow guy is the only character that will be in the game? Personally, I disagree with this. Keep in mind, like I said in the video, there are other things in the 5 Minutes of Freddy series that we've seen from the past that are in fact not animatronics. Anyways guys, I'll see you all next time. I'm Zombie Wars SMT. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you all later. Peace out.